tell you that I'm eating healthy. Jeannie Mai is eating for two, and she's craving it all. I kind of love it. On Tuesday, the real co-host, who's expecting her first child with husband Jeezy, shared this video via Instagram story, dishing on her pregnancy cravings. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I'm eating healthy. I crave random everything. So here is a Sicilian pizza with extra everything and a side of ranch. Toasted fresh out of my air fryer. As for what she washes it down with... Never craved milk. Ever. But ever since baby Jay, all of a sudden I want specifically whole milk. I don't really care if you think it looks gross, but it tastes straight from the cow's teat. Jeannie first announced her pregnancy on Monday during the season 8 premiere of The Real. I am pregnant! <laughs> And since her big reveal, the talk show host has been very open about her pregnancy journey, even taking fans inside her doctor's appointment for a glucose test. So what's this test supposed to do? It's going to check your um, CBC to make sure you're not anemic and your glucose to make sure you're not um, gestation or diabetic. And hopefully you're not. And check this out. Here's Jeannie and Jeezy doing an at home ultrasound so they can listen to their baby's heartbeat. It's louder right there. This is your daddy. The TV personality has also been very candid about her love life. I love quality conversations. I love intimacy. Um, I love, you know, thoughtful presence with one another. So this is a dream for me. Jeannie and her husband, rapper Jeezy, tied the knot in March after over two years of dating. And in June, Jeannie told E.T. how getting married has changed their dynamic. Married life feels... 1,000% different than when we were dating in the greatest way. We want to feel trusted. We want to feel loved. We want to feel safe. We want to feel cuddles. We want to feel, you know, the romance. We want to feel dating. We want to be hot and heavy with sex. Like, you want all those things. So the fact that I'm doing that with a partner that is like-minded with me is the best part of my life. I mean, the crown broke, but it's amazing. Tell me about the outfit tonight. Put by air. Ooh. A crown that was made for me 10 years ago, and I dug it up. Just to make a statement, and it, of course it broke, but I'm holding it with my, with my <laughs> finger. So. I think that is a perfect metaphor mm -hmm. for your incredible career. Everybody is so excited for this documentary. What can they expect? Um, uh, great art, um, thoughtfulness, incredible dancing, incredible music. Uh, gosh, prov provocation, yeah. politics, spirituality. 
family, everything. Your kids are in it, and your kids are in it, my boyfriend's in it, everybody's in it. Your daughter's been, she's at the Met Gal, she's modeling for Rihanna, she's in the documentary. How proud are you, and where do you see her going from here? I mean, I think anything's possible for her. She's way more talented than I than I was, am, whatever, so I'm really proud of her. Well, we know you're an incredible mother. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you are such a warrior. You you speak up for so many people. One person has been Britney Spears over and over again. Have Not you talked? Yeah. Yeah, I just spoke to her today, actually. Really? Yeah. What did you guys talk about, and what's your message? Just, hey, how are you, girl? What's up? Just checking in on her and congratulating on her on her marriage. Yeah. So you've yeah, been her supporting her. Pending marriage. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. I love her. Uh, well, let's go. Let's go get some photos. Real quick, what's next for you? And the fans want to know, could we ever see you do a Vegas residency? That's a question we get a lot on our social media. No, um, <laughs> but I am making a movie about my life, so. Who's going to be in it? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's rekindled love continues to thrive. I'm ready. I'm excited about it. Following the couple's head-turning red carpet appearance in Italy and a PDA-packed night at the Met, Ben has made it clear that he thinks his bae is also the goat. We're trying to get some... Can you see if we can get in the papers? I'm trying to get <laughs> can I, can I listen? In a new interview this week, Ben praises Jennifer's impact on the entertainment industry. Quote, All I can tell you is that I have seen firsthand the difference representation makes because I have seen over and over and over and over women of color approach Jennifer and tell her what her example as a strong woman and a woman succeeding and demanding her fair share in the business world means to them. I want to give it away, but it has a very good ending. <laughs> Ben even goes on to say that Jennifer's influential career is more than he could ever hope to achieve. I am in awe of what Jennifer's effect on the world is. At most, as an artist, I can make movies that move people. Jennifer has inspired a massive group of people to feel that they have a seat at the table in this country. That is the effect few people throughout history have had, one I will never know, and one I can only stand by and admire with respect. These new comments bring to mind what the actor said about J-Lo earlier this year. You know, there's always a story of the month. Me dating Jennifer Lopez happened to be that tabloid story at the time when that business grew exponentially. Back in January, Ben shared some harsh words for critics of their initial romance. I mean, people were so f***ing mean about her. Sexist, racist. You know, ugly, vicious shit was written about her in music. Uh, if you wrote it now, you would literally be fired for yeah. saying some things yeah. you said. Ben also highlighted the brighter side of the story in the years since. Now it's like she's lionized and respected for the work she did, where she came from, what she accomplished, as well as she f***ing should be. Hmm, did these comments kick off Benefer 2.0? All we know for sure is that eight months later, Ben and Jennifer were making their red carpet comeback at the Venice Film Festival. The couple was seen laughing, having intimate convos, doing all the hand-holding and sharing a kiss. It was Ben and Jennifer's first movie premiere together since 2003's Geely. I think we had chemistry as actors from the first moment we started working. This movie will always be important at a landmark event in my life. The red carpet moment was quickly followed by yet another night out for the lovebirds. After J-Lo's solo arrival at the Met Gala last week, the couple reunited inside and even shared a masked kiss. And all this affection lines up with some new details E.T. learned about the relationship. It just turned out to be something really magical. A source told E.T. last week, it is like they never broke up, but everything is way better this time. They are all over each other, and their friends joke around about it with them.